Hey, intro to 2D. Um, I just want to talk you through another alternative for your David Hockney photo joiner uh, using Photoshop. Now, I only want you to pick this version if you are actually familiar with Photoshop and know the shortcuts, because other than that, uh, it's going to be really frustrating and Microsoft Word will be much easier for you because we have not yet introduced um, any of the Photoshop project yet. So right now I just have pulled up on my screen, my screen, pardon me, um, the David Hockney Joiner uh, PowerPoint. So you can see a couple examples. And again, notice that this has an irregular edge, which is one of the options for you guys. And basically that you are making a composite image of multiple photographs. This is one way. Or like Hockney um, in some of his Polaroid prints, he used the same format of picture and did it as a grid. But again, there is some distortion happening um, with the proportions and layering. So you can see her hairline right here is a lot um, larger scale than her face um, and her hand is a little bit misaligned and same with the chair proportion and feet. You can see that things don't quite line up even though it is a little bit more um, logistical in the grid. So there's that. Um, in Photoshop, I want you to do a couple of things. First, you're going to do File, New, and you're going to name it and just name it your name and joiner project, okay? The other thing we need to switch is um, the actual dimension. So if you just want like a normal vertical uh, format, you're going to change the width to 8.5 and notice I'm changing it. Oops, I got to do just eight. Eight inches. Oops, it changed it. Eight inches and then we're going to do 11 for the height. So eight and a half by 11 is a typical um, copy paper. I'm going to change the resolution to 300. That's pretty standard. Or if you wanted it to be horizontal or landscape, you would just invert these two numbers. It would be 11 by 8. Okay, but make sure it says inches. Make sure the resolution is set at 300. Okay, and that gives you your screen. Now remember, when you go to import images, so file open, wherever you have saved some of your pictures, Okay, it's going to open in a new tab. And to get that over to this document that you've created, you're going to have to select it and copy it. So all I'm going to do now is a control A, which is a shortcut for um, select all. I'm going to do control C, which is copy. I'm going to click on this new tab and control B, which is paste. So now um, I no longer, I, I just made a copy of this. I could get rid of this. And now I have my other picture and I can do that again with other images. Let's see, I'll do this one. Okay, so again, I do control A, which is select all, control C, copy, and then control V, paste. Now remember that you're in Photoshop, you're working on layers. And so in order to um, change that layer or edit that layer, you have to have it selected. So right now, layer two, that's this one or layer one, that is the image below it. I can hide the eyeball and you can kind of see that. Um, your best bet is to use the transform um, tool, which you can go under edit, transform, or again, you can kind of see this, that gives you the shortcut reminder, control T. So I'm on the layer that I want, which is this top layer, I'm gonna do control T and it selects it. Um, and you can do kind of some kooky things. Right now I'm doing control select and it's kind of changing the planes of things. Or I can do, let's see, if I'm remembering this right, control shift and it can change the, ooh, that's kind of scary. Change the proportions around like that a little bit. Let's leave it like that. That's kind of cool. Um, and then just remember, this is your move tool. So if I wanted to move this around, I could do that. Um, same tools as normal with cropping and things if you wanted to make it smaller. And select out one specific area, you could do that. 
Your friend is Alt Control Z, which is step backward, and I can do that as a shortcut as well. So again, guys, I only want you to play around with Photoshop if you actually have Photoshop experience and you know how to manipulate the tools. This is just a very, very brief tutorial of how to begin layering some of your images.